All right, a little bit different video. Today, usually we are working on the CTSV, but that's pretty much done for now. There's not much I would like to fix that driver's seat cushion. That's just not gonna happen for a while because of the cost and it's not that deep. I am OCD, but the cost doesn't justify <laughs> the means for my OCD at this current time. Uh, down the road, probably that will happen. But um, I couldn't get out this weekend. People were busy and uh, yeah, I just trying to figure out something I can film. And I realized I have two other cars, right? So I don't daily drive the V, I daily drive a Yukon. And I also have a 1965 Ford Galaxy that has been in the family since the day I was bought. So the Galaxy is, the body looks okay for the most part. It got repainted a couple years ago. Um, it's had all kinds of work done on it. So it is in decent shape. You know, it's not a show car. It's a, just a driver. So one of the things is the interior, the dash pad, which you will see it's disgusting. Last time I drove it, there was actually something, some oil or I don't know what it was, honestly. It was just kind of gross. Um, but the trim on the interior is chrome around the windshield. That is rusted. So we are going to try something out. I have always read that Coke or Diet Coke in tin foil will remove surface rust. So that's what we're going to try today. I will hopefully get the car out. I don't really want to do it in the garage, but because uh, it will just be dark, camera won't pick stuff up. So we're going to go move the car, take this crap out there. We'll find out if this works together. All right, so we're out in the car. You can see that ever focuses all this rust. So I am hoping this coke thing works because these pieces are not easy to find and the main place is really this top one the side pieces have a little bit but it's not that bad you can kind of just see you know not horrible so pour this coke out put some gloves on get some tin foil and we'll see if this works That's a good sign. That's a very good sign. I read to get Diet Coke because it's not as much sugar, so it won't be as hard to clean up. Gonna be a mess. Oh, wow. Holy crap. It works pretty well. Um, 
I think this piece is too far gone, but I got this pretty mirrorless in the spot so they just messed with it. Uh, this is crazy. So much better. So I think this is more of a trick for minor rust on chrome than major like the top piece because on this it's getting it all. I think this is just too far gone. The finish is just gone. Uh, but on this pillar, it is literally night and day way better. Um, so this is crazy. It works. I can officially confirm that Coke and tin foil We'll take rust off your car. This is just crazy. So. If you had a way to <laughs> mechanically do this, you would be set. Like, meaning, there is a tin foil pad for a, <laughs> a polishing machine. Uh, maybe somebody needs to invent that, man. I don't know, but this is wild. Like, it is really, it's changed the way this car looks. I mean, it is nuts. And it's so effective, it's so fast. Like, you would never think things in your freaking house will get rust off of a car. It also makes you wonder what the fuck you're putting in your stomach. I mean, this is just... There are ants falling out of my tree. in like 20 seconds. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten seconds and that thing looks a million times better. This is wild. This is crazy. I mean this is crazy. Like God. so much better. Anyways, that's a video. All right, so uh, I don't know how much I'm going to trim that in terms of what I show, but it worked. It actually worked. I'm shocked. Now, the unfortunate thing is that, well, you can see on this pillar, it worked really, really well. Um, I think the the pitting wasn't, you know, so substantial that it, it's pretty much mirror finish. I got like even the turn signal and the shift lever. Also got this chrome on the steering wheel. And you can see here, it looks better. It's just, I think this thing was just too far gone. So I think unfortunately, that piece is just too far gone. It's gonna have to get taken off, sent to the chromers, 
and you know stripped and redipped or rechromed whatever but I am shocked I never in my wildest dreams would think that tin foil diet coke little elbow grease would actually work I mean you see these things online and you just always think it's like BS it's like there's no way that works and it works um, you know I will probably at some point come back out and do this a little more I wish there was a way somebody needs to invent like a uh, com like a polishing pad for a, a rotary machine like a compounding machine like a Rupes or a flex somebody needs to invent like a tin foil <laughs> pad uh, cause I'm sure there's something I'm sure you're supposed to use like a grinding pad or something this is just a gentle easy way to do it at home but yeah pretty wild I mean the pillar is amazing looking now like I will come back out and finish it off another day but I am shocked by how good that looks. It just really stinks that this top piece, it's just too far gone. So it, it worked and if it wouldn't have been so deep of rust, I'm convinced that thing would have looked brand new again, just like the pillar does. Um, so yeah, um, I guess we should probably show you this car though, <laughs> besides the bad part. So, uh, it's a 1965 Ford Galaxy convertible, obviously. You know, nice little old school. Very bare bones, this car, right? Very bare bones. I mean, there is, we haven't done anything to it. It is stock, so. You know. Drum brakes, no power steering, no radio, no heat, no air, nothing. Just get in and go. Um, so it is, <laughs> you know, not the most enjoyable thing to drive. It is probably 83 degrees right now, and those vinyl seats are killer because of how much heat they really give to you. And I parked in the shade. I'm probably gonna go drive this thing. I'll grab a GoPro, bring you guys around, around, along while we drive around. Um, but yeah, so Coke, tin foil, it works. We'll go for a cruise, come back. All right, so go for a quick ride. Um, I'm not gonna go very far. I don't trust this thing that much. And yeah, I just don't trust it that much. Hopefully you guys can hear me. It's not too windy. Um, I know these GoPros click sometimes, which is super annoying, but anyways, uh, yeah. So, if you don't have a car that, uh, never driven a car with no power steering and drum brakes, it's, I, I don't know, it's, it's um, enjoyable, but frustrating at the same time, because you have to brake way earlier, this thing pulls to the right a little, and you have to steer left to keep it straight, plus at slow speed you're cranking the wheel for dear life, so yeah, but also not that fast so you have to wait forever to you know pull out right, that guy's slow I mean this thing takes forever to get speed though it is wild like I don't even know why I use a rear view in this <laughs> Got a giant just turn and look over my shoulder. What are you doing, Grandpa?
go. But I don't get road rage often, but when people go 30 under the speed limit, 20 under the speed limit, break 500 yards early. So dumb. I'm not a huge convertible guy, but with a mullet and it blowing in the wind, it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> Taking them off the line. <laughs> so slow though. music if you're riding a Harley too. I don't even know what that was. Oh. Fucking rat. <laughs> I think people coming out of this pandemic, coming out of quarantine, forgot how to drive. Because there's a lot of bad drivers out these days. Oh, I love my neighborhood, but there's like three people who stink at taking care of their properties. Like it's very middle class, you know, nice neighborhood. People are nice. Minus like one or two people. But there's like two, three people who just don't take care of their properties. I don't get it. That's the other reason I'm in this neighborhood though, is their lots are huge. So I have like over an acre, which gives me the ability to have all the cars, have all the garages, and it's perfect, but days where I won't move out because I can't take oh, big, some of the properties and the way they're maintained. Like the jackass next to me that painted his house gold and yellow. Why? Why? It takes forever. Get this thing in the garage. Because I've got to put the top of out of the garage. I'm going to open the garage. That's why we don't drive this very much. Easier to drive the V, drive the Yukon. Just, you know, pull in, pull out, close the garage doors. That's the only garage that doesn't have a door opener. And it's because there's not enough clearance. 1965, they didn't worry about that. Now, it really sucks. I could get a side one, I guess. 
I might look into that actually now that I'm thinking about that. But I'm gonna put this top up and I think we're good. I think we'll see you guys on the next one. It is hot and I'm ready to go inside. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Hope we enjoyed this. A little bit different from the V. Um, you know, I'm trying to figure out some stuff. Again, if you guys have ideas for what you want to see, let me know in the comments below. If it's within my means, I will do it. But um, it is challenging to think of stuff that people want to see. So let me know. See you guys on the next one. Peace.